How about a postcard from the Bay Area for you on a Monday night? Game one of the Western Conference Finals. Coming to you live from Oakland. And Steph Curry, the MVP, unanimous at that. 60 to 47 is the halftime lead for Golden State. One of just two three pointers hit by Curry in the first half. Well, that's BBD. Oh, yeah. There you go. Boy, Simeon, BBD. There you go. West Coast family. Those my guys, man. Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens. Ronnie DeVoe. Ronnie, Abby, Ricky, and Mike. That girl was poison. They bring back some great memories. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's driving me out of my mind. Singularity. Welcome everybody. American Express halftime report: Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny the Jet, Charles Barkley. Man, you talk about. You can't leave anybody, either of those two guys open. Clay Thompson in the first half was sensational. Clay was sensational, but Ernie, the, the one thing that you, you're going to say is scoring is easy for both teams. But can you score at the end of quarters? End of quarters is how this is going to be won. And that's why I thought the Golden State Warriors would have the advantage. All of these shots are doing the regular thing. But once it got down to three minutes or less in every quarter, that's when your concentration has to pick up. And that's where I think Golden State has the advantage, Chuck. And to me, it's just the last three minutes of every quarter. To me, that's what decides NBA basketball games. Well, to me, before the game, you, Ernie, you asked me the two most important stats. Not, not just this game, but I have to always say, I saw a stat that the team that has the least amount of turnovers and least in, in rebounding wins like 77% of the time. Oklahoma City has turned the ball over 10 times, and they've been out-rebounded. If they don't, if they turn the ball over and get out rebound, they got no chance of winning this series. If they got to win it, out rebounded 25 to 23. Reggie talked about it. That's the only two stats you got to worry about. The 10 turnovers leading to 15 uh, Golden State points in the first half. Durant had four of those turnovers. Westbrook had three. Meantime, we talk about Clay and we talk about Steph Curry, the others for Golden State in the first half, Shaq. You know, I think Kenny will agree with me. The one two punch will get you there, the others will take you over the top. We've seen it, we've seen it time in and time out. These guys are ready to play, very confident right there. Andrew Bogan getting it oh, the right here. Clay Thompson right here. He could take that shot, he could take that shot, but you know what? He other. sees the other in the corner. And as I said earlier, the other has to relish the moment and step up and be ready and hit the shot. I got four rings because the other stepped up other. for me. Big shot Bob, B. Shaw, Rick Fox, guys like that. But look, these guys are here playing hard. They're relishing the moment right there by both with the great pass. Other. And there, this other is getting this crowd very excited. And then you got Steph. 19 clay 14 they're doing their job but if the other just continue to play well this team gonna be hard to beat in this building and westbrook has to step up i love westbrook bona fide superstar but one for eight is not gonna get it done three points eight assists and one for eight shooting for russell westbrook how do you explain it though that i mean the turnovers just came fast and furious for Oklahoma City. Was that was that Golden State defense? Was that carelessness with the ball for the Thunder? Well, it's always a combination of both. They're so athletic everywhere. I mean, you, they, you when you put Iguodala, Draymond out there, Harrison Barnes, there's not a lot of room for error. And if you don't make a perfect pass, you don't obviously don't have a chance. But listen, Oklahoma City, they, they're careless with the ball. We talk about it all the time. Normally, you don't see it until the last couple of minutes or quarters when that's when they blew the most leads in the NBA throughout the regular season. But now they're making those mistakes when you you have to up your level. Every chance you every round you go in the playoffs, you're playing against better teams, Ernie. And Russell and Kevin, they've just got to do a better job. They got seven out of the ten turnovers. Those two guys got to do a better job. Golden State scores 60 in the first half. They lead it by 13 after 24 minutes in game one of the Western Conference Finals. The American Express Halftime Report continues here in Oakland right after this. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report. 
Live from the Western Conference Finals, American Express, the official credit card of the NBA. Well, after hearing Shaq singing, maybe I don't want to watch the halftime show after all. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's cool, too. Hey, hey, he's up on Should my I get him, Kenny? He said Coach yeah, Trujillo. Hey, hey, he said gotta, he's a coach, Kenny. You uh, got to go get him. Uh, uh, Lee Coach gotta Trujillo. Go get, he no. said it. At Coach go Trujillo. Go get him. Go get him. The reason why your voice is a little sore, Shaq, why? Because his mother gives great singing <laughs> lessons. <laughs> there you go. American I'm just Express playing Coach Trio. Hey, hey, man. Clay Thompson leads everybody with 19. Woo. That's so pretty. And in the... Um, on the American Express teammates graphic, the top two scoring duos in the NBA, Curry and Thompson, number one, Westbrook and Durant, number two. It's been all the Golden State side in the first half. They lead it 60 to 47.